<laughs> so where are the best places to get a Sammy Ed? <laughs> Yeti the Sammy Ed and I are going to talk about that up next on Yeti's Place. <laughs> Sweetie, you're laying on your bones. To find the best tips and tricks for dog ownership, in particular, Sammy Ed ownership, go ahead and subscribe and click that bell notification so you'll become a Yetable. Check out our links down below. Yeti came from a breeder who's been breeding Sammy Eds for 50 plus years. And the breeder owns many grand champions, many champions, many pulling champions. It was important to me to get my dog from a breeder, a reputable breeder. I reached out to the breeder and we took a few visits over to the breeder's place to meet the doggies and to talk to the breeder. I told the breeder exactly what we were looking for in our puppy. <laughs> Sweetie, you're shedding. He's not even near me. Our breeder is very reputable. They only have a few litters throughout the year. The dogs are very loved. That's a good breeder. If you're looking for a dog with a breeder, you'll wanna be sure to visit their house and you wanna also take a look and see how many dogs there are. A very good reputable breeder will only have a few dogs at a time. They'll have a few parents and then they might have a few little puppies. When Yeti was born, he was one of four puppies. He had two sisters and a brother. If you're in the United States, there is a fantastic website to reach out to. The website is the samiedclubofamerica.org and the website has information about Samiads, about their breeders, and how to locate a great breeder for you. Now breeders do cost a little bit more, <laughs> normally from champions or grand champions. If you want a Sammy Ed, but you're not sure about the price, dog shelters are fantastic resources for finding a great Sammy Ed. Dog shelters are where Sammy Eds may have lost their owner, or they might not be a good fit for the owner, so the owner gives them up to dog shelters. A Sammy Ed in a dog shelter is not going to be a bad dog at all. It will be a very good dog. Sweetie, come here. Yeti, come over here. <clears throat> he or she was just simply a handful for their owner, so the owner had to, to give them up, or else perhaps there was an accident that happened and the owner is no longer able to be with the dog. Oh, sweetie, you slobbered everywhere. Sammy Eds are very active dogs, and if you're not willing to provide all the activity that they need, they become destructive. So, a lot of Sammy Eds unfortunately end up in dog shelters because their owners just saw their beautiful faces and they thought, oh my goodness, this dog is so cute without realizing all the fur that comes off of them. These were navy when we first started. Their energy level is just crazy. So a lot of Sammy Eds end up in dog shelters. The owners had not anticipated that these dogs would be such a handful. Just be sure that you're, you are ready for that handful. They're very demanding. They're hardworking dogs with a lot of energy and stamina. Dog shelters and rescues are another fantastic resource. You can find out about those dog shelters that house Sammy Ed specific breed dogs. Online there's Sammy Ed clubofamerica.org. You can check the American Kennel Club if you live in the United States of America. The AKC, as they're often known, they have a list of fantastic resources for where to locate breeders, where to locate adult Samiads who had lost their owners or who were displaced from their owners or whose owners weren't able to take care of them. If you don't live in the United States, you can take a look at your country's kennel clubs. They might occasionally have a Samiad in there. I know that there are a mix of many other breeds that just happen to show up in those dog shelters, but you'd, you would certainly want to put in a request specifically for a Samiad if that's what you're looking for and then have them give you a call if, if they should happen to have a Sammy Ed come in. Because if you know that you want a Sammy Ed, but you cannot afford to get a Sammy Ed from a breeder, or you don't want to pay a lot of money for a Sammy Ed, that would be a, a wonderful way to reach out to be able to get a Sammy Ed. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing and clicking that bell notification. When you do, you'll be able to help me afford to buy more treats for my Sammy Ed, Yeti. <laughs> Thanks for watching.